What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin. I'm gonna show you how to play emulators on your Apple TV. So first thing you need is a USB-C cable. USB type C, that is a new USB cable uh, that you probably don't have. You're probably gonna have to go out to Amazon or go out to Target or somewhere and buy one of these because uh, they're relatively new to the scene. So the Apple TV uses the USB type C type of connection in order to connect to your Mac for diagnostic purposes, for developer purposes, etc. So you just wanna plug that into your Mac uh, like that. Make sure your power cable is also plugged in and your Apple TV is powered on, of course. Try to get these cables rearranged a little bit there. All right, so you see the little light power is on and we have it connected to our Mac. Now it's time to get busy. So you wanna to go to this webpage here. I'll have it linked in the description and on the post on I Download blog. This is the Provenance GitHub page. This is the emulator that we're gonna use. So you just wanna copy the clone URL here. Copy that URL and we can minimize that. Now we wanna load up Xcode. You can find that download also in the description. You can download it from the Mac App Store. Then you just wanna go up to where it says source control, select check out. And then right here where it says into a repository location, just paste and then click next. And then you wanna choose the master branch and then click next. And it's gonna ask you where you wanna download it. Just click download, use the default location. And this is gonna take a while. I've sped this part up just for your convenience so you don't have to sit here too long. But it does take a while to download it. Fairly large file, files I should say. All right, so now, what you wanna do is once Xcode loads up, you wanna click the little drop down box here where it says Providence. Click that and select Providence TV release and then choose under device Apple TV. It should show up there if you have it connected properly to your Mac. All right, then it's gonna process files. I've sped this up a lot, but it's gonna take a while to go through where you see processing files there, a little uh, loading bar. Once it goes all the way across, then you can click the little play button once it says ready. So we just wanna click play here and it's gonna build Providence. Get it already compiling all the source code. And this again takes a while, I've sped this portion up as well. All right, now if you see this error message, you just wanna click where it says fix issue. You're gonna need a developer account in order uh, to sideload apps, that's what we're doing. So you can click view accounts if you don't have a developer account and you can create one. It's absolutely free to do. Uh, so you don't need to pay $99 or anything like that. I already have one logged in. I'm gonna click choose here. And I've logged in to my developer account there. All right, so it's still processing, building. All right, build succeeded. So that's it, folks. That's Providence is now, as you can see here, it's performing the install. Now it's running on the Apple TV. So Providence is now on the Apple TV. Only thing we need to do now is disconnect it and then hook it up to our television. So I'm unplugging. All right, it's hooked up. And there you go, folks. There's Providence right there, side loaded. So now you see this interface, you wanna select import ROMs. And this is really cool how this works. All right, now it's gonna start a web server and you just wanna to go to the address listed I'm doing that right now. All right, and then you wanna click ROMs and then click upload files and then point it to a ROM that you have downloaded. I have Super Mario World here, click open. All right, that's all. <laughs> now you're gonna see Super Mario World load up. Probably already see it in the background there. All right, so we can just click stop. Okay, and there's the box art. It automatically knows, no configuration needed, it automatically knows it's a SNES game. That's pretty awesome. So we're playing Super Mario World with our Siri remote. Of course, it'll be better if we pair a Bluetooth controller and we're gonna do that a little later. But folks, that is how you run emulators, classic games on your Apple TV using Providence. No developer account needed, no jailbreaking needed, just sideload the app using Xcode. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with the I Download Blog.